Breaking, chilling item found in Las Vegas shooter's hotel room linking him to Obama. The city of Las Vegas became the gruesome crime scene overnight in what's being dubbed the deadliest mass shooting on U.S. soil. 64-year-old Stephen Paddock holed himself up in a casino hotel room with 10 guns, where he shot down on concert goers below, massacring 50 and wounding at least 200 others. As more details slowly emerge about the event, sickening details linking Obama to the crime scene has just surfaced. Breaking news is hitting the airwaves fast and hard about the Las Vegas shooter and some of this news links directly to Antifa. Social media posts revealed that Melbourne Antifa claimed and congratulated the shooter. Before Obama left office, congressional investigators found out that Obama funneled billions of dollars to left-wing activist groups, donating close to $7 million straight to Antifa. Hillary Clinton has blood on her hands too, as she donated roughly around $800,000 to the terror group. A breaking news segment for Alex Jones links Antifa to the shooter via sources within authority groups stating that the hotel room of the shooter was covered in Antifa memorabilia as well as things that Jones can't mention. According to your Newswire, Stephen Paddock, the Las Vegas shooter, was an Antifa member who carried out the worst mass shooting in American history in order to create further division in American society, push the country towards civil war and further the agenda of the elites, according to new information being suppressed by mainstream media. Official Antifa Facebook account, Antifa Melbourne, uploaded a post to Facebook congratulating Stephen Paddock and the Las Vegas Antifa chapter on the carnage and bloodshed, stating, One of our comrades from our Las Vegas branch has made these fascist Trump-supporting dogs pay. According to broadcaster Alex Jones, a senior police officer involved in trying to apprehend Stephen Paddock confirmed to him that the shooter was definitely a member of Antifa. When they entered his hotel room, it was full of Antifa-related paraphernalia. There was Antifa crap everywhere. He put up a fight and fought to the death in his hotel room, the police officer said. America's divisive politics and culture of social division have provided the elite with the useful terrorists necessary to do their dirty work for them. Antifa, the violent leftist wing of the Democratic Party and the New World Order, are the useful idiots being taken advantage of by the elite in 2017. The disturbing fact is that authorities knew about Stephen Paddock's plans for the mass shooting attack in Las Vegas, that targeted conservatives attending a country music festival and allowed it to happen in order to further their agenda. Intelligence and law enforcement were aware of plans by multiple shooters to kill as many people as possible in Las Vegas, but rather than apprehend the terrorists, they let him kill dozens of people and injure hundreds, and the death toll may yet rise much higher. Police scanner audio includes reports of multiple shooters, with reports that gunmen fired from the Mandalay Bay and gunshots in the Caesar and Bellagio. However, Law enforcement and media, following a familiar pattern in cases such as this, later rewrote the narrative, claiming it was the work of a lone wolf, who, conveniently, was dead. He was not even captured on hotel security footage, despite being in Las Vegas, home of the world's most invasive hotel security, and the fact he was reportedly hoarding 10 automatic weapons in his hotel room. U.S. intelligence and law enforcement servants of the New World Order, allowed this attack to happen in order to justify cracking down on the innocent population even further, taking away more and more civil liberties, until we are living in a police state. The terrified public, receiving their information from the mainstream media, will allow the elite to turn our society into a police state. They will choose safety over liberty. For the record, identifying an event as a false flag does not mean that nobody was killed. It does not mean that everybody involved is an actor. It means that the elite are using the event to further their agenda. Sometimes they plan the event. Sometimes they allow it to happen. With the mainstream media already calling this the deadliest ever shooting in American history, and with their repeated references to the shooter's large weapons stash, you can be assured that a push for a large-scale gun grab is coming soon. Just as ISIS caused death and destruction in Syria, Iraq and Libya on the US-European dime, 
domestic terrorists of different stripes also cause chaos in large American cities. This is all part of the plan to destabilize the free world and take away civil liberties, privacy and the right to a decent life. The Las Vegas attack has eerie similarities to previous false flag events on American soil, San Bernardino, Orlando, Boston, Charlottesville, as well as the Paris terror attacks of November 2015. The American false flags, as well as the Paris and Manchester false flags, are all dominoes that fell as orchestrated by the New World Order, as part of a master plan that aims to destroy the Western world as we know it. Terrorists are walking freely into our countries and being allowed to perform barbaric acts that terrorize good, law-abiding citizens. Local citizens are being turned into useful idiots, performing equally barbaric acts to sow division in society. In some cases law enforcement and intelligence actually assist the terrorists. The New World Order marches on. Sources are claiming the NFL is set to be the next target in a wave of domestic terror that is set to get worse. First young girls, then music fans, next football fans. Crisis and catastrophe will be the order of the day, as the elites march us towards a police state and a new world order. While the terrorists are allowed to roam free, and violent domestic citizens are used to further the elite agenda, we will be the ones imprisoned. If all of the information pans out and links it all to the deep state, then this will implicate not only Obama and Hillary to this mass shooting, but also the other Democrats who have spoken and praised Antifa for their militant and violent actions such as Maxine Waters and Loretta Lynch. God bless the poor souls taken so violently last night, and may their families find some justice. justice.